All right. So, first reminder, uh, working on this stuff. The, the hell was it? Oh no, that's right, it was. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about, I think. Hope so. Keep working on that. Focus on the 12 fret and above stuff. So get comfortable with that before you even go back to starting on uh, the Aeolian mode. And then we will talk about the two note coils after we go through this thing that's up on screen right now. Um, basically very similar to the last one, but the last hammer-on pull-off deal. But starting on the low E instead of the A. So, as you're already doing, uh, you know, just if any trouble spot, focus on that. You can certainly do the uh, add one string at a time thing again. But because this is all still basically the same damn thing as last time, See if you can just jump right into 120 as soon as you feel like you got all the patterns memorized there. So, instead of going the long, for sure, safe route like last time, see if you can just jump right on into this, because I bet this will all come together pretty quick for you since you've already worked in these areas. So you're just going the opposite direction. But it, I, I think it'll click for you. I, I would imagine so. So... Okay, that's right. Instead of playing with the metronome, I'm going to you or play along with uh, the actual tab here. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's a three count, not a four count. Whoops. One, two, three. All right, let me try that again. That's done. Two note coil talk. Oh, that was weird. The aspect ratio is not locked, apparently. Hmm. Uh, anyway, so starting with that Aeolian deal, there were just like that couple, a couple tricky spots. Basically, on the D string is where it happens. So. You start with the second note into scale. So that right there. And you go down. So you go. And then you skip to the third note. So I'll just say the fret numbers and whatnot as I go. Kind of like I did yesterday. So you got 7, 5, 8, 7, up to 5, down to 8. Up to seven, five, eight, seven, up to five, down to eight. Now here you go up to seven with your ring finger, go to five with your middle, and now you have your index ready for the next note. Up to four, down to seven, up to five, four, seven, five, 
shift over up to five, down to seven, up to six, five, eight, six, up to five, down to eight, up to seven, five, eight, seven. And you're gonna hit the seven again, seven, eight, five, seven, down to eight, up to five, down to six, eight, five, six, down to seven, up to five, roll your finger down to five, seven, shift over to four, five, down to seven, up to four, down to five with the middle finger, over to seven with the ring finger, down to eight with the pinky, and then up to five, down to seven, eight, five, seven, down to eight, up to five, down to seven, eight, five. Now let's see. Be looking and see if anything funny comes to mind when I'm doing that. Hang on. Okay. Just wanted to double check something that I don't need to even mention what the hell was in my head. Alright, so the Belocrian shape. Let's see if anything funny pops up. You have some pinky finger roll action going on with that one, so be careful there. Um, it'll be the same fingering for the C. Ionian shape. Let's go to the D. Dorian next in. Okay, so for the D. Dorian, when you get to that, you'll have the same ring and middle finger to use when you're on the A string. So you have to go ring, middle, so you have your first finger available for the next note. Lots of finger rolling on this one. And then you got to use your see, middle and ring again on that whole step stretch. Let's see if anything funny with the E Phrygian. Some finger roll action happening there. Um, let's just do this one. Well, yeah, it'll be the same thing for the uh, F Lydian shape for a finger wise. So, let's see. position you'll have some open strings wanting to ring out together a little bit wouldn't worry about trying to be an expert muter on those too much that's some speed it's like nearly impossible to get like a like a back and forth like that with complete muting <clears throat> you'd most likely instead of doing that go if you don't want to hear any strings ringing together anyway G Mixolydian let's take a look at that Just finger roll stuff. So it seems like Aeolian and, Dor and Dorian, the A Aeolian and the D Dorian shape are the only two where you have to use your second and third finger on the same string for a whole step stretch. But, uh, the only other tricky part for stuff is finger rolls. The B Locrian and C Aeolian condensed shape will have some pinky roll action going on there. So that'll be a little bit awkward. Um, but I didn't go into much detail with the others because hopefully you'll be able to figure out the patterns on picking all that stuff and moving your fingers around once you get the hang of the Aeolian shape, just like you did with the three and four note coils. But if you got questions, let me know, and I 
will see you again on Friday.